this is notation of squares, I would invite the students to the mat and we would start looking at the one red bead. And I would say if we wanted to make that into a square, how would we do that? And the student would say we could take one one time and we could represent that as one one time. And this is also represented as our one square. And we write that as one square. If I asked the students how many beads are in our one square, they could tell me one. And we could lay that label out. Next, I would ask the student to make a two square. They would take two, two times. Our first label would say two, two times. If I wanted to show that as a square, I would put our two square and then our label. How many beads are in a two square? There are four. Next, I could have the students take three, three times. Our label for that would be written three, three times. The students could show me our three square. From there, how many beads are in the three square? And the answer is nine. The next one would be four, four times. We would write that as four, four times. Our four square. How many beads are in the four square? The students would answer 16. And then I would invite the students to continue from here all the way to our 10 square.